So this is how you take a mechanical brake to a hybrid hydraulic brake caliper. Um, what this does is it changes your mechanical pull style that have one piston pushing on one pad and the other pad is just on a wall to a dual piston system that uh, is hydraulic actuated internally and then it's pulled by a cable i don't want to squeeze this when this is uh the release is in with it releases out so that if the brakes close i can't get it back so um this is how we're going to do it we're going to undo this allen key we're going to undo this allen key and uh we're going to undo the cable so bear with me i don't have a uh you know, tripod or chest mount thing to hold. Okay, so that was the cable releasing tension. All right, that's loose. That's loose. Now let's get it all off. You know what I'm just gonna put this down we're gonna come back to this section of the video in a second okay once you got all your adapters and bolts through you're gonna bolt the new caliper on and uh, it's pretty straightforward if you go slow and you take your time you're not gonna have really any issues and we'll do the adjustment uh, you know, the brake caliper alignment to the rotor uh, adjustment after this. You know, most of those uh, videos that show you how to do brake adjustments, just follow those if uh, you don't wait through this one. But basically, the, the rotor is going to be a different angle when putting it on. And so this will fine-tune it. You're going to hold the brake so the caliper will go super tight onto the rotor and then you're going to tighten your caliper down so it stays in the position that it breaks at, clamps at, and that's how you adjust it. But we'll, we'll do it through the video. But uh, let's get this semi-tight to the point where we can still do an adjustment and then lock it down. Okay, this is the part where you're gonna thread in your old brake caliper, your brake cable. Uh, that one went nice and neat. Okay, did you see that Was I on the video? You're gonna slide your cable through here. And then you're gonna loosen this and make it tight. Pretty straightforward. It, it, it's not too hard, so I might need to put you down here. Hold on. God, I gotta get myself one of those uh, head-mounted camera phone holders. Something to make working out these things a little easier. So basically like that. You're going to want to tighten this out and do some minor adjustments here to make sure, you know, you got yourself a good, nice brake feel. I'm going to put you down for a second. Yeah, maybe it might see what I'm doing. Put that spacer back in. Now we're going to bring in the cable a little bit better. There. 
I'll probably do some more adjustments after a little. Put my little crimp cap on for the brake so they don't separate. Well, I don't know. They don't separate. There you guys go. Now let's put the tire on. You're going to have to release that. Don't do what I did. Taking that off. Uh, beforehand. Cool. And get the rotor in. Okay, so now what you're gonna hear is, like it's touching it, right? Ooh, that looks real good. So I'm gonna press down on the, with my foot, get this thing aligned the best I could, maybe loosen it a little bit so it, you know, it doesn't have any tension. All right, and now I'm gonna set it. I attribute my brake adjustment knowledge to a YouTube video I saw, and it's literally a minute, like 20 seconds. Really a good video. I send it to a bunch of people that have their bikes out of adjustment that I know. Then they become brake experts. Oh, you watch this video. All right, let's feel that actuation. Very good. All right, once I tighten the uh, wheel down, we'll maybe double check that, but that's basically the gist of upgrading your bike to hydraulic brakes if you have cable and you don't wanna do a big changeover with bleeding and whatnot. This is a, a very good upgrade that allows you to have hydraulic brakes on the cheap. This was about $49 and uh, I like it. I also like this bike, the Passelect PX2. Very good bike. Also the PX1. I'm biased though. I like these bikes.